I confess that when I first got into the investment business, I really had no clue as to what I was doing. Uh, a good example of that occurred when I was talking with a prospective client. I was trying to find out what kind of a product I could have uh, for this gentleman. And he said, well, I don't want much. I just want something that's going to earn me, say, 7% a year, uh, guaranteed, without any risk. I said, all right, let me see what I can find out. I'll work on it and I'll get back to you. Well, needless to say, I worked on it. I talked to the people who knew and came back and had to admit to him that there's no such thing. There was no such thing as a good returning investment that has no risk. And of course, over the years, as I've really learned what I'm doing, that is a self-evident rule. It's, it's one of those immutable rules of the universe that there is balance in all things. No matter what you get, you pay for it in some form or another. If you want to get a high return, you're going to have to take a high risk. So let's say the zero risk and zero return is here. If you want to get a high return, you're going to have to take that much risk. There's a balance. If you're only willing to take this much risk, you're only going to get that much return. It's the same way it works in every part of our lives. There's no free lunch. There's a yin and yang in Eastern cultures where everything balances everything else. You pay for everything you get, you get what you pay for. Our mother used to say to us, you only get out of something what you put into it. And isn't that the case with everything? So there's no way to get around it. However much risk you're willing to take, that's how much reward you might get, but however much reward you want to get, you're going to have to take that much risk. Now, there are ways to deal with that and try to mitigate that some, but you can't get around it. I hope that makes sense to you. Until next time, remember, balance in all things.